exercise, fun, a sense of pride, they all come together here at Thomas Farm Community Center when we're talking ping pong. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I was really surprised when we opened the center and we got so busy with people playing ping pong and I didn't realize, realize how popular it is. But we, every day we have a number of people, same people, in little groups that come and play. Thomas Farm Community Center Supervisor Martha Kester is thrilled that table tennis is proving to be all the rage for her members. And I think they really like it because, I mean, anybody can play. You know, it can be at different levels. Um, it's inexpensive. All you do is have to purchase a, you know, $30 membership, and you can come in as many times during the week as you like. Um, I think it's, people say it's really good exercise. And I think you can either be competitive or you can pay, play for fun. And we saw firsthand how spirited the game can get in the multi-purpose room. Some lady is killing me. <laughs> when Chief Victor Chen is a huge fan of the game. Ping pong is nice. Look at the table and the area and the lights. Great. Well, it's a good exercise, though. Um, you know, it's training our reflex and the eyesight. Pretty good. Lou Lin grew up playing the game as a child. Because I, there's a ping pong I play since I, I was a childhood. In the school that time, I started playing because the ping pong game is very popular in mainland China. Not just adults are getting in on the action. Ping pong is also a hit with kids. Because it's fun, you know. I get to, like, bash people. Oh, yeah, it gets a lot of stress out, which, like, you kind of have a lot of day in middle school. Because it's, like, really fun. You get to have something in your hand, and you get to hit something. Now, most people would like hitting something with something in their hand. So I definitely recommend this sport. For County Report this week, I'm Bridget Breuer.